Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. This time around we have got the F1 2015 car liveries part 1. The cars that have been released of this date which is in fact the 30th of January as the time of recording. So if you're watching this in advance and the rest of them will have already been released if you're into the season or they've all been released and we're in practice. I will be doing a part 2 depending on when the cars are, the rest of them are released. So we're going to start things off with the brand new 2015 Ferrari livery and in fact the design of the car itself now this car when you look at it from the front it looks like a testificate from Minecraft it is disgusting what they've done is they've got the same car and just given it a bit of a circle at the front it looks horrible and when you look at it from the side it looks like a platypus the thing looks like a platypus that is if you don't know a duck billed mammal that lays eggs. The Ferrari, the prancing horse, looks like a mammal that lays eggs. This is not good. This is not what Ferrari is. They're meant to be classy and elegant. And from the designs that have been rumoured, it looked lovely. And this is just horrible. Why, Ferrari? Why have you done this? You had a chance to make a brilliant looking car, and you've made a car that looks like a bloody duck. It just is horrible. It's not elegant like a swan. It is the ugly duckling of the Ferrari garage. Next up, if we're going to calm things down a little bit, we're going to go for a car that I think actually looks very good. We're going to go from one extreme to the other. We've got the Lotus. Now, last season, we had the tusks at the front that made it look like a dodgy walrus. This time around, it actually has a beautiful essence of it. You've got the front nose, which reminds me of the HRT from, if you haven't played it, the 20, uh, the 2010 season. You can have a look on the F1 2010 games. Also looks like the old Braun car. So I think there's a little bit of going on there, which is really nice to see, indeed, from the team. And to be honest with you, the car has got a nice feel to it, nice and smooth, elegant, no mistake, no nothing stupid about it, like no, like... Nothing dodgy at the front. I mean, it was meant to remove the horrible dildo nose, and that is, quote, dildo nose at the front of the car. But And the Lotus have done it. They've made a nice car, unlike Ferrari, that have just taken a heaping pile of shit <laughs> their design. Next up, we're going to go to another extreme, the McLaren. This car is the same as last year. They got a hammer and just pounded the front of it. What is this? And they've also got a long bit at the front, which is just pointless. What? Why make it? What? Why have the same car and just add red at the front? It's like they got halfway through it and were like, well, you know what? I'm done for the day. No more designing for me. And they forgot about it. It's just a red trim around the front, and that's it. Just putting a little red trim around the front doesn't make it the McLaren, I mean they had one season without red, make it all red, have the old McLaren style, like the, everyone's saying it's a 2005 reminder, it is not a nice looking car it's just got little bits of red From a, when I look at it from a person who likes does graphics, and that point of view, it doesn't look appealing to the eye, and this is what people don't understand, people are just saying, oh it's McLaren and Jensen Button's driving it, so it must be the greatest car in the world, it looked piss poor, it's lazy the design isn't there. They're not putting time into the designs. And so far, Lotus, the team that made the bloody vagina car, if you remember last year, everyone had the McLaren one side, the Lotus the other, and it seemed to make a bit of a go-kart. This is Lotus, the team that can't design. They've designed McLaren, who are very well known, and so Ferrari, known, well known for making nice cars, have made poor looking cars. Next up, the fastest car on the grid, and the only car that last season really looked like it had dignity, was the Mercedes. They might as well make the same car, but no, what they've done is they've narrowed up the front wing. Now, the car not looks normal, and it's almost like at the front they've just made it very, very thin, a long pole. It's very similar to the Caterham, if you remember, the long thinness of the Caterham in my mind. That's what it reminds me of, and I don't like the design really. I think it's an okay design, very similar to the Lotus in a way, but I don't think they could have just kept it really the same. But they've, they've done that, they've tried to keep it the same, which I think is very fair of them. So far, a bit of an iffy one, but I think I'll grow to like the Mercedes. We're going to go on to the Sauber now. Now, this Sauber is awful. I like the way they've brought the blue and yellow back, but blue and yellow doesn't go. I like the way they've gone back to their old roots, but blue and yellow, as colours, don't really go well together. Hence why you don't see very many blue and yellow coloured designs in other sports. 
I mean, there's a few that are really pushing the boundaries of it, but there are very few. Yellow and blue, pushing it, but when it's all blue with a bit of yellow, doesn't look nice, especially with the fact you've gone for the front and rear wing as white. Why have Sauber done this? And to top it all off, it's got a Chelsea back. No, I'm joking. It's got a long... <sighs> what, what is it? It's like a bullet. They've just stuck a bullet at the front of their car. It's like, okay, what's aerodynamic and goes really quick? I know, a bullet. Bang! At the end of the season, in fact, many people watching this will want a bullet to shoot the car. It doesn't look good. It's just horrible. Why have they done this? Just keep the black you had last season or go back to white. Why are they trying to find their identity when they're clearly a respectable F1 team? Hopefully it'll be quick, then that way it will have something to rely on. And then we're going to go on to the final team now. The final team that released their car, the Williams. Now there is no actual released footage, it's just from F1 Racing Magazine, which I've actually got right in front of me now. And this car looks good. They've not they've gone for a nice streamlined design of their car, very similar to the Mercedes of last season, with a little nub at the front, which I can accept. It's not clear and it, it, it just blends in. It's nice. Maybe they could have made a little bit better aerodynamically, maybe look a bit nice, maybe more rounded, you know, from both sides round it round. But I can live with this. The fact it's got martini on it makes it a decent car. But guys, what do you think? I know I'm going to probably get hate in the comments saying, oh, why don't you love this car? Oh, Fernando Alonso's driving McLaren. You should love it. Oh, Ferrari for Willowin. No, I would like your personal opinions. If you agree with me, then please tell me because this is my opinion and this is what it's for. If I wasn't making this video, then I wouldn't have my opinion out there. This is what I think about these cars. You might think blah, blah looks lovely, but you're probably a McLaren fan. A lot of McLaren fans I've spoke to have said how amazing it looks and then people that don't support McLaren have said how dreadful it looks. The same with the Ferrari, same with the Sauber. Leave your comments down below, subscribe for more and I will see you guys next time.